Hello, my name is Laura Baudis and I'm an astroparticle physicist working at the University of Zurich in Switzerland. On the 9th of November 1989, I was in my hometown of Timisoara, Romania. This was the place where the Romanian Revolution started and I had lived in a dictatorship all my life, so we followed eagerly the events in Berlin. This was a very exciting time. As a child, I wanted to become a mathematician or a philosopher. But I was also interested in the sky at night. So in a sense, my wish came true. You must be good at math in order to study physics. And today, my research often borders on the philosophical. How much can we understand about the dark matter? How much can we understand about the universe at large? We know for almost 100 years that most of our universe is made of a substance that does not emit nor absorb any light, yet it acts as a glue that holds galaxies and clusters of galaxies together. We call it dark matter, yet we still have no idea about its detailed composition. What is this dark matter made of? I call this a wall in our understanding of the universe that I intend to break. We believe dark matter is made of new elementary particles that interact only very weakly with normal matter. And I build large xenon detectors with ultra-low noise, ultra-low backgrounds that are very sensitive to tiny energy depositions from these hypothetical dark matter particles. Together with my group and my international collaborators, we built a very large liquid xenon detector which houses three tons of ultra-pure liquid xenon in a time projection chamber. This detector showed the lowest background ever measured in a dark matter experiment. Last year, we could observe for the first time the ultra-rare decay of 124 xenon atoms with a half-life that is about one trillion times longer than the age of the universe. This makes this decay, the double electron capture of 124 xenon, the rarest process ever measured directly. There are many applications of the liquid xenon technology. However, the largest benefits to society are those that we cannot even formulate yet. When Thomson discovered the electron in 1897, the first elementary particle ever to be discovered, its enormous implications were not at all clear. The enormous benefit for society became evident later on, and this is always the case for fundamental research. I am driven by the curiosity to understand nature, and quite concretely, to understand what most of our universe is made of. Recently, we observed an excess of events at low energies in our detector. This could be caused by new particles producing the sun, so-called solar axions, and it would mean a major discovery. However, the signals could also be explained by tiny amounts of tritium contamination in the xenon that is otherwise extremely difficult to measure. The mystery will be solved with our much larger detector with 8.4 tons of liquid xenon, which is currently being commissioned deep underground and will start taking data later this year. What keeps me lying awake at night presently is will this detector work as we planned? And if yes, what will we see? Will it confirm the solar action signal or perhaps even discover dark matter particles? And if yes, what are their properties? My mother studied literature and she's a cultural journalist. And whenever we meet or we talk, she always asks questions about my research. Very difficult and very good questions. She follows my research closely.